If it takes longer than 10 seconds, you can go back to the browser and click on Connect to Proctor Track. This is the agreement to policy. Your data is used for the strict purpose of verifying your identity before and during your test. Check the box to agree to the policy and click I agree to proceed. The app will run a seven point system check to verify if your system meets the requirements to proceed with the exam. Click continue to go to the next step. Here, you have a quick overview of how we collect, protect, and purge your data. You can click here to learn more or click on continue. Here we have a simple process for capturing a picture of your face. Follow the instructions on your screen to ensure a proper selfie picture is captured. Click on Start Scan after aligning your face in the marked area. Click on Retake to retake the picture or click on Next to proceed. For the ID verification, click on Send Request to begin the ID verification step. You can now scan an institution approved ID card which could be a student ID or driver's license. A live proctor will verify your ID in real time and you can click Next once your ID is approved. Here you have the exam guidelines to provide information on the proctoring setup of the CLEP exam. Details are provided on what is allowed and not allowed during the CLEP exam. Click on the Start Proctoring button to be redirected to the next step. On the bottom right of your screen, you have the option to chat with the proctor. We recommend keeping the chat box open until you've completed the check-in process as the proctor will provide instructions with what you need to do to start testing. You can also chat with the proctor if you need assistance during your exam. The proctoring has now begun. A blue frame around the screen indicates that you are being monitored. If you're stuck or need help, visit our 24-7 customer support at www.proctortrack.com forward slash support. Review frequently asked questions or contact us by email or phone.